This video is brought to you by me. Hi everyone, James Manson here with a very special announcement. Yes, we have started YouTube memberships here at James Mansfield. Now, don't get scared. Nothing here is changing on James Mansfield's channel. That's me. We're just adding a fun new feature where you can join a membership. So you've asked for it. So I decided to oblige and give it to you. With this membership, you get custom emotes that are themed after me to use during live chats and the comment section, as well as membership shout outs at the end of my videos. Now I only have one tier for now because well, that's all I can figure out at the moment. There may be more to come, but until then, enjoy the wiglet tier because it's all I have. <laughs> be sure and look for the join button on my YouTube page now. Come on, become a member, become a wiglet. <laughs> Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited because we have a long awaited video on us today. Yes, we are doing Nymphia Wind, part two of a RuPaul's Drag Race hair story look. We are doing her iconic banana hair, James's version. Yes, it's gonna be as close as I can get to it with what I have available at these little fingertips. And look how little they are, oh my God. It's like a supermodel's hands. Yes, let's get started. Now, it took me a while to figure this out. Like, this one was a bit of a doozy because I've never really done hair like this before. Like I've done things where I've had to like wrap hair around stuff, but never anything to this extent. So we're gonna be using a lot of non-conventional materials today. I have here a piece of foam that I cut out into the shape of a banana. And you can tell I have a hair tie around it because I went through quite a few phases with this. I decided to do a little bit of a modification on it. That's the word, right? Modification? Modification. Mine's gonna be a little smaller, more of a dainty ponytail because <laughs> after all, I'm a dainty woman. Yes, oh, if you like my outfit, this is actually my beautiful beautician look made by Nate Luna. <laughs> and the, the apron is by Justin Velarde. And the pink one that actually matches this apron is by my gay daughter, Justin Velarde. He designed that one, the one I wore on the pit stop. Now I have here a bunch of yellow wigs. This took a lot of yellow wigs and this took me quite a bit to figure out. So. What we're gonna do here is actually start on covering this. As you can tell, this, this is very, very white. So if I were to put hair over it, you'll probably see through it. So I have here a wig that I cut up and I have some footage of me doing a lot of this, but I have some cut up hair right here that I'm going to be covering it with. All right, now I'm gonna use some spray adhesive. It's specifically designed for fabrics, but any spray adhesive should work. And I'm just gonna hit that with it. Trying to keep it in a controlled area because like, girl, this shit gets everywhere. Like I had to be so super careful when I was doing this. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the scrap hair that I had here, just cut up into shards and I'm making like a nest out of it. And I'm gonna use this to like basically cover what I just like sprayed with the adhesive to create like a base. Sort of like um installation. Okay, and I like wrap it on like that. And also don't be like me, wear a mask if you're using spray adhesive. Be responsible, but as you know me, I don't value my own life, so I'm often living life on the edge. But I'm gonna do this, just wrap this hair up. But yeah, basically like that, you just wrap it around and you can get a little weird with it and just wrap it all around the thing. And I'm just gonna make sure I have this to have a nice layer going. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, and here I am cutting out the shape of a banana from this foam square, it's two inches, and cutting it out more to reshape it. I reshaped this thing a lot. And then I covered it with my little technique with synthetic hair. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now I have the whole thing covered up. It's basically just like a, a matted wad of just yellow hair wrapped around this shape, a banana shape. <laughs> Almost like a Nike swoop. So I'm gonna take what's left of the hair. Like I used an entire wig to do this. Like I cut it all up. So this is like the lace front part. It's all I have left for one wig. I have counted another wig just in case I need it to like cover everything else but hopefully I can do this with just two, but we shall see how many it takes. Like, I'm so curious how the original one was made. Like, what is the construction on that? Like, if I ever see it, like, I wanna see like what the inside of those bananas look like. Like, I wonder if they're hollow or if they're like actually solid hair or not. Cause if they're hollow, that's really cool. But yeah, this wig, everyone was asking me to do it. And I was like, you know what? Just give me a moment. Cause I gotta figure this out. Cause honey, I don't know everything. And this, it felt like I was kind of like venturing into like cosplay territory. Cause like a lot of the methods I had to use were like stuff that cosplayers use to create their wigs. I know some things about using unconventional materials, but I prefer not to if I don't have to. I don't want to get my house all dirty. Let's start. I have my glue gun. And this is like my fourth glue gun I've bought now. I don't know what happens. Y'all have this problem. Like the glue gun just gets up and walks away. 
Like, I know it can't just be me not putting stuff back where I'm supposed to. Like, I'm certain the glue gun just like takes a hike. Like, it just exists wherever it wants to exist. It'll just, you know, appear when you least expect it or need it. That's how glue guns work. Glue the strip and glue this on. Wrapping the hair around the banana. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Oh my gosh. That actually worked out really well. Okay. I should use the lace fronts more often. Wow. I guess because there's so much hair tied to it, it took so long doing it with tracks because like they always want to split up. But this one actually kind of worked out kind of sickening. All right, let's, let's keep doing it though. Let's keep wrapping. Let's keep wrapping. Just wrap her all around. Oh yes, honey. Oh, Miss Honey, she is gonna be so cute. Burn myself a little bit. That's fine. Again, a little bit of water because it's plastic after all. Hot glue is plastic. <laughs> so try not to burn yourself, but always remember water will seal plastic. Lick your finger. And I'm the only one that's gonna wear this, so I don't care. <laughs> my DNA can end up in it. CSI will have a field day with this. This has my blood, sweat, and tears in it. I have it laying over like that, so. What I'm going to do is take a hair tie and kind of just like pull it down like that, I think, just to keep the hair in shape in certain places so I can start brushing it into place. We're just gonna brush through it like Marsha Brady. 1001, 1002. Little aliens. And again, I'm gonna cover this up with more hair when I get them all attached, but this is just to create like a nice little base that looks nice and presentable. Now, how have you guys been enjoying this season? I recently had to like watch all of it because I was a guest on the pit stop as you all saw my iconic appearance recapping the season, which was a lot of fun because I've totally been watching the whole thing, okay? I'm a super fan. I'm so curious like what Nymphia is gonna lie about next on the show. <laughs> I've been enjoying her. I've been enjoying all the girls, honestly. Like, I love how they've been behaving on like social media, like Megami writing verses for people and stuff. All right, and essentially I'm just spraying this and smoothing it down. Just ever so gently, ever so nicely. And what I've been doing after I get it like solid in a certain area is I've been taking this plastic twine, like it's for sewing, nylon sewing thread, and wrapping it around it to like make sure it like stays still. Cause no one's gonna see it, but it's like an old trick you use for like, you know, beehives and stuff like that or stuff that like has to be like held together again like it's nylon so it's like clear no one's gonna see it it's just to keep it in place and see that whole top section is now nice and wrapped up now as i start molding it with the hairspray she's gonna start looking like a banana but i have to like keep tying it up periodically with this so this is how it will look when it's like all nice and tied up and you know sprayed and everything like i had to wait a while like blow dry this and make sure it was all nice and dry it's a combination of aliens Pump it up gold and got to be glue and a blow dryer. I'll show you a preview because like I'm probably gonna finish wrapping this girl because it's really involved. This is our bundle Whoa. of bananas and I think it looks pretty cute. I just gotta add it to the back piece here for the ponytail part. But I feel like I did a pretty good job replicating it, you know, on my time frame and with what materials I had and knowledge of how the wig was made. So uh, I am going to continue wrapping this and I'll be right back and we'll glue it and start the ponytail. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, we are back. Now it's time to do the little black like stem part of the banana. So I have here some black felt and we are just gonna cut a like long rectangle. Yes, okay, just cut, 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 cut. Not really measuring a whole lot here. It just has to look nice. All right, okay. I'm gonna wrap it around and see how it looks. I think it's gonna look pretty good. We gotta cover up the top of that. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> look at it. Look at it! It is adorable. I don't want to hear anything about it. It looks so cute. All right, now it's got to cut a little cap for it. So let's cap it off. Oh, like a Mickey Mouse. Oh my God. It is so cute. Now all she's got to do now is combine it with the rest of our bunches. Like, look at her. She's going to fit right in with that. Like, so cute. And the way I do this is like no technique whatsoever. I'm Liz going to take it and press it on multiple times until it eventually sticks. I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back and focus on doing the ponytail part now, which is gonna be a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> be right back. All right, we are back. Okay, so I have it all drying over there. Like, it's gonna take a while because that glue, I'll make sure it's dry, dry before I try pinning that into my head. Let's start on our base, okay? Now, looking at the wig, like, she has really wild sideburns. Like, the sideburns are cut into the shape of banana. <laughs> so, we are going to take out some sideburns right now and just clip those out of the way. Like that's what I like most about this hairstyle is like it's so campy. <laughs> like it walks that fine line of like being campy and stupid. 
we have to start doing our base wig. We're gonna basically lift up a ponytail and start leaving hair out so that I can create a hairline. I actually have to put a hairline in the back of mine because you are going to see it because mine is a little shorter. Like when I actually put the bananas on, it's gonna, it's gonna show the back piece. So I am going to put my hairline into it. I don't know why I said it like that. Oh my God. <laughs> Felt like a real housewife or like Lisa Vanderpump. Darling. I met her, you know. I met her a couple times now, actually. Perks of knowing Trixie Mattel. She's a very nice lady. Lisa Vanderpump, very nice husband. Her little doggy had like a sweater on that was encrusted in diamonds. Like her, her dog's sweater was worth more than me and like my entire house. Yes, yes, yes. And shout out to Nymphia Wynn. She actually reshared my last video, which I thought was super cool. I love when girls do that. And she wished me luck when I told her I was doing this wig. So <laughs> let's see how this comes out. I know it's going to be really cute. Because again, like we're doing James's version. Oh, I didn't show you guys. So yeah, I noticed like, again, the sideburns have those bananas on them. But her bang is actually a banana too. So I bought a banana, like a toy banana. And I covered it with hair to create, you know, the banana bang. The same way I did the other ones. <laughs> I know it's a little different from hers. But again, this is James's version. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I'm giving this to you for free by all means, okay? Y'all already know for this, I just do a base tease all throughout the head because you don't want those tracks showing in the back, especially. I love Nymphia's style. because, like, baby, she finds something and she leans into it, okay? <laughs> she just says, I like bananas, okay? That's very my kind of take on drag. It's like, if I like something, you're gonna see it, okay? If and ever you find a look that works for you, you might want to stick with it, okay? okay? All right, now I'm gonna keep putting some teasing into this and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, all right, we are back. Now I tied the hair up into a ponytail and I did a hairline in the back, which I have videos on how to do that. So they're linked down below. Oh, and honey, if you need me to break down how to tie up a ponytail, hairstyling is not for you, okay? Try something else. Now comes the hard part. Well, not really that hard. More or less just like figure out how I'm gonna do this. I have to attach these to the back, so. I think I'm gonna do it like that so I can pull that over and like mix it in with that. That's what I think we're gonna do. Oh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it like that. I have here our bananas. Let's see how that rests on here. I think it's gonna work really well. Okay, I think it's gonna work. Everything, oh my God, I'm so good at hair. I was a little nervous. I didn't know how I was gonna do it at first. Like I was just kind of like winging it, but it's actually gonna look, it's gonna look really cute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> It's like a cheerleader version of Nymphia's hair. I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> let's get let's get pinned on. It's also like when you look at the join on her hair, it's kind of like a big hair piece right here is blocking it like a little like a barrette with like stones on it. And she's not yeah, she's on there. So let's start styling around this now. All right, so this section is for this banana here. Yeah, as soon as I start spraying that, bitch, it's gonna be so cute. Because it's so short, it's kind of giving flying nun. <laughs> like Sally Field. Just the shape of it, like that old nun's habit. A little bit of that, just from the shape. <laughs> also, if you want to do this yourself, I actually have yellow wigs for sale. Or if you just want a yellow wig, this is the Femme Fatale in yellow. She's a great versatile wig, as you can see. <laughs> Ugh, all right. I shall tease out the rest of this hair and I'll be. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now I just gotta start smoothing it and making it look like a banana, but I added so much teasing into this. I got a lot of them done. Like, you know, let me spin her for you. You can see one, but the back pieces are looking pretty good. Like they look like bananas. So I'm very pleased right now. All right, so right now I'm just smoothing over the teasing because it's also gonna add a little bit of volume, which was lacking, but also needed to cover up that join because it was very crude as you saw before. <laughs> what are you doing? Huff, what's your beef? Huff is afraid of the steamer, like the little mini handheld one. Like he was just staring at it. Like maybe the ghost is in the corner of the room and he's finally seeing it. And I'm just not acknowledging it because I said before, if the ghost is not paying rent, I do not acknowledge it. There he goes again. He's just staring at that corner. Pets, they're always the first to know. And I don't acknowledge it and I don't give the ghost any attention because then they start haunting you. That's how it always works in those paranormal activity movies. The second you act like it's there, then they like just start freeloading, you know? And I don't have time for freeloaders. Look at her, she's coming out so cute. Again, like the shape on mine, since it's a little smaller, it does kind of look like the flying nun. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Which again, I'm not mad at because I love Sally Field. 
It's a matter of like blow drying it now and spraying it with hairspray and just getting her to stay still. So in the meantime, I am going to start the bang. Now I have here this banana and we have to glue it to the head like that. <laughs> So let's try it, okay? Okay, so it's just kind of like a swoop bang, like a Barbie swoop bang. Oh, we could do that, let's do it. Okay, let's start gluing her and seeing how everything works out. But she's on the wig, like check her out. So I'm gonna like angle this so she like stays drawing like that. And we're gonna start on these little sideburns. Oh, actually I have an idea. We're gonna do this, let's do this. Okay, let's, God, thank you. let's use a Gatsby glue. Really just cake it up. Press it open like that so you get that shape right and then i'm gonna tie off a little end right here i'm gonna tie a little ponytail that's what we're gonna do oh my god i just figured it out i'm the smartest person in the world it looks like that yes okay <laughs> and now i just take a little marker like a like a um like a sharpie and just sharpie the end black and you have a banana gorgeous little bananas on the side <laughs> I am obsessed. Okay, well, I'm going to finish the rest of this and I'll be right back with the final results. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final results. Oh my God, I'm going bananas. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to make. I have to say, girl, it was fun, it was stressful, it was a lot. Now, in hindsight, I feel like had I ordered like the foam wig I originally intended to order, it probably would have been like a lot easier on me because it was already in that big shape, like an old school, like bubble flip kind of shape, but it wasn't gonna arrive on time. So I decided, Let's be ambitious and I have foam here. So I tried it and honestly, like it added more work to my plate than I really needed to. I probably could have got this done a lot simpler. But again, like I'm glad I challenged myself because it looks really fine. Like, come on now. <laughs> the bananas are a hoot. Shout out to Link Hair for this amazing hairstyle that he created. I personally did a short version because, well, I don't have that much hair and, you know, I'm working on my own time and my own patience. And I think a little shorter works for me because, you know, I'm so petite. And please don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I am now streaming every week, yes, on Twitch and here on YouTube as well as on James Mansfield too. And it's just James, okay? So come on, hang out with me, all right? Now, if there's any other Rue Girls you want to see me recreate wigs for, be sure and let me know down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye! Now hit the outro! <laughs> Click here and watch Iconic Blondes, Jennifer Aniston, or see my extensive doll collection. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll put rotten bananas on your head. So click it. It's the